Welcome to the Crowley Show. I'm Corey. I'm Ellie. And this is Baby Sage. Welcome to Nature Art Club. The online edition. creature which moves with effortless ease as it slides smoothly down to its lair beneath the stone. As the crab grows, it must continually seek a larger shell with a more comfortable sitting room. At approximately nine weeks, the baby turtles dig their way up through the sand, and out they come. Hello everybody, welcome to Drawing with Cory. Today, we're going to be drawing ocean animals. <sighs> the only supplies we'll need today, like every other day on Drawing with Cory, is a sheet of paper, a drawing utensil like a marker, or a pencil. In our project today, we're going to be drawing different ocean animals, a shark, and a sea turtle. Let's get started. So we're gonna draw a shark first. We're gonna start with a long, kind of curved, slightly curved up, almost flat, horizontal line. And we're gonna come down with another curve right here. We're gonna start going in for the mouth. And then I'm gonna draw a V going in. That's where the mouth's gonna be. And then I'm gonna curve this line up to about the same height that we had up here. And I'll just connect those lines there. And I'll do a little black circle for the eye. And for the teeth, we can just do little triangles or zigzag lines. And we've got a bottom fin, which is a triangle. And the top is also a triangle. It just kind of curves over and back. And another one behind it. For the tail, we've got a line that curves kind of like that first one. And it comes straight down. And then we're gonna draw a little V on the side, on its side and then do the same kind of thing at the bottom. And sharks also have smaller little fins. So I'll do two at the bottom and one at the top. And they also have very pronounced gills. So I'm going to draw three lines right there. And we have a very simple shark right here. And another animal that we can draw is a sea turtle. And we'll have him just swimming right up. It's very simple. We'll start with an oval shape and then another oval right in the middle of that, just a little bit smaller. And then I'm gonna draw two little Y's facing inwards. And I will connect the tips of those with two horizontal lines. And then from those little corners, I'm just gonna go up over to the inside of that circle. And now we have the turtle shell. So we just need to add the legs and the head. And the head is pretty easy. We just add a little bubble, little shape up here and put in our dots for the eyes, 
And then the fins are kind of the same kind of thing. We'll have them stick out to the sides. They're a little longer. And the back ones kind of curve down a little bit too. And then the tail is kind of like that shark fin shape. And I'm going to throw in a fish like we did a couple weeks ago, which is a really simple kind of shape. If you want to see the specifics on that, go back to that video. And I'll add a couple, actually. And I'm going to draw one going this way. And I'm gonna put our ocean floor again down here. At the bottom, I just kinda got it wavy. And then the top of the ocean is these little curves. They're like flattened out U's with the little points where they meet, and those are like the waves. And from these an animals, if we want, we can add little circles for air bubbles. We can do ones of different sizes. And at the bottom where the sand is, I'm gonna do little dots for little specks of sand. And there you have it. A little ocean scene with a shark, a sea turtle, and some fish. Here's a sped up version of me finishing mine. You can pause the video here so you can finish yours too. friends, welcome to Process Art with Ellie. Today we are going to study ocean animals and what we're going to make is a jellyfish. So I've got all of my supplies out in front of me right now. Let me walk you through them. So I've got a cup of water, a brush, my red, yellow, and blue paint, Paper plate, rainbow yarn, half a paper plate with hole punched marks along the bottom edge, something to paint on. It doesn't have to be this, it could just be newspaper or um, something that you don't mind getting messy. I've also got my tissue paper squares and my googly eyes, Google, Google. And notice today I'm wearing my apron. When I work with paint, I like to wear an apron so I don't get my clothes messy. So let's get started. What I wanna do first is take my body for my jellyfish and add on the tendrils. So what I'm gonna do is start out with my yarn and I'm gonna fold it in half. Notice I've got one side here, one side there. And I'm going to take the side that has the loop on it and I'm going to poke it through the back side of my paper plate, like this. So I've got a little bit of the loop going through I've got my tails going down, and then I'm gonna take my tails and I'm going to thread them through the loop that I made. And that is a quick way to add on your tendrils. 
All right, now I'm going to do a close-up view so you can see me add on the rest of them and it might help you get a better idea of what this looks like. Okay friends, so what I've got here is my additional yarn and my body. And what I'm gonna do is the same thing that I did before. So I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna loop it with my long ends here and my looped in here. I'm gonna take my looped section right here and I'm going to go up to the back and I'm going to poke it through the hole. So it's coming through one side and I've got my tails and I'm going to pull my tails through my loop and bring it on down. So I've got two sets of tendrils on there. Now I'm going to work on my other ones. So I bring the loop through, I keep it up, I bring my tendril tails, poke them through, and pull it tight. And I'll just keep working through all my yarn here. So whatever way you get these on here will work, even if you just want to tie it on. That works too. I love this yarn because it has so many different colors in it. It's beautiful. Ocean animals have lots of different colors. Have you ever gotten stung by a jellyfish when you're at the beach? One time I did. It really hurt. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, Six done, and I've got one, two, three more to go. Do you guys know what six plus three is? It's nine. Jellyfish aren't like octopi that only have eight tentacles. Jellyfish have so many. It just depends on the jellyfish. When we add yarn on here, what we're doing is creating a weaving. I love to make yarn art. What about you? Our jellyfish has all of its tendrils. Now we get to paint it. Okay, friends. So I've got my red, yellow, and blue paint. And because we're going to be using our paint in today's project and on Friday, I don't want to just use my brush and my cups of paint. What I'm going to do is open the lid and I'm going to pour some out. So I'm gonna pour out some of my red paint. Then I'll put my lid back on. I'll pour out a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna use mostly red and blue in my picture, but it's always nice to have a little bit of some variety. Oops, <laughs> got an extra drip. That's why it's good to have a paper plate or something to paint on. All right, now for my blue paint. Red, yellow, and blue are called the primary colors. And that means that we can mix together any combination of these colors to make all the colors in the world. All the colors in the world. What I want to do is make a purple jellyfish. What two colors do you think I'll mix together to make purple? I'm going to use red and blue. So what I do is just pull a little bit from each pile with my brush. 
If I pull all of it, then I don't get to use any more just plain red. I wanna make sure to keep using red. When I switch between colors, I rinse out my brush. So what I'm doing is making a puddle of these two in between them. And now I'm gonna mix together. Mix, 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 start painting on my plate. You can paint it however you want. I'm gonna use this color purple on the edges. Whenever I run out of paint, I just get a little bit more on my brush. And a cool trick, if you need, get your brush a little bit wet and then get more paint. That helps the paint go further. I love this color purple. It's one of my favorite colors. What's your favorite color? If you wanted to paint your jellyfish a different color, go for it. Everybody makes art different and that's what makes art so great. There's no wrong way to paint a picture. So I'm just gonna keep working my way around the paint. Around and around we go. Where do we stop? Nobody knows. It's okay if a little bit of paint gets on your yarn. All right. Now what I wanna do is go into a, a kind of different color purple. I want to add in a little bit more blue to it. So I'm just gonna mix what I've got left over with a little bit more of my blue. Okay, now I'm gonna use this color inside. You notice it's a kind of different purple? but I'm still using the same two colors, red and blue. That's the cool thing about it. If we mix in slightly different amounts of the red and the blue, each time it creates a different color. This one is more of a blue violet or a blue purple, whereas the first one we painted is more of a red violet or a red purple. Blue violet can also be called indigo. The way I'm painting this kind of looks like tie-dye. What do you think? Or rainbow. All right. Now I'll mix out my brush again. This time I'm going to just paint a little bit of plain blue. So I rinsed out my brush in between colors. And blue it is. I like to make up silly songs while I paint. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rinse out my brush again. And this time, I think I want to use a little bit of some yellow and some blue. So I'll just grab a little bit of yellow and bring it over next to my blue. And then look with the yellow and the blue mixed. They make Green. Ta-da! <laughs>
like glue and I'm just going to make some polka dots along my picture. You can use any of it, any of the colors you want. And while you're doing this, I'm going to use the paint like glue because the paint is really wet right now so the tissue paper will stick to it like the paint sticks to our paper. So I'm adding the red right around my picture. Dot, dot, dot. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to take some of my tissue paper and stick it right on. at a time, it's called mixed media. And that is my favorite kind of art. What's your favorite kind of art? Mr. Corey's favorite kind of art is probably drawing or working on the computer. My favorite kind of art is mixed media, specifically painting with glue and with paper. But I also like to use yarn too. I like it all. <laughs> All right, for my next line, I'm rinsing out my brush. I'm gonna use some of my blue paint as the blue this time. So I'm just adding dots, just a dot, not a lot. <laughs> tissue paper on any way you want. It's your piece of art. That means you're in control of what it looks like. If you just want to sprinkle it on like confetti, you can do that too. I just like to work in patterns. Oh my god, silly. Get out of the way. Here's another one. All right. Next, I think I'm going to use a little bit of my yellow paint to add here. So dot, 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 dot. As I work my way into the inside, I don't need as many dots. All right, hmm. This time, I'm going to use I think I heard Baby Sage honk the horn of the car. Did you hear that? <laughs> All right, last but not least, I've got this section of green. I think I'll still use the same yellow here. Dot. Jellyfish 
all complete. It's still wet, but that is what mine looks like. Once it dries, I'll show you too. I almost forgot my googly eyes. I'm gonna put them right in the middle. And I've got a little bit of my red paint to use as glue. All right. Google. Google. There we go. Nice and silly. Here is our insect activity kit. In our kit today, we've got two sheets of paper and a pencil. We've got green salt. We've got different kinds of flowers. Insects love flowers. We've got three different kinds of plastic insects, a big gallon sized bag, a ribbon. We've got a mat board painted that can fold in half and three hard tubes. And these are the supplies we'll use for our insect activity kit. Now for viewer photo time. Hava and Grace did an amazing job on these Play-Doh plant faces. I love it. Today, Eli is drawing a T-Rex. The T. And now a leg. Yes. Now long toes. And now another leg. And then do a black stripe going down his back. And now do his red body. Oh, this is the scary part right here. Wow, Eli, I'm so scared. You did a great job. If anyone else would like to see their videos, send them in. We'll see you, see you next time. time.